two days in critical condition, Bachelor star Gia Alamond has passed away and the details are heartbreaking. Nobody saw this coming and it's just really hard on everyone. Friends of Gia Alleman are in shock today after learning the reality star committed suicide. The Bachelor alum peacefully passed away after being taken off life support. According to the family of the 29 year old, she suffered a critical loss of brain and organ function after hanging herself Monday night. In a statement, the Alleman family confirmed she was found unconscious in her home by boyfriend Pelicans forward Ryan Anderson. At the time of her death in hospital, Alleman was surrounded by loved ones, including the basketball pro who reportedly never left her side. Anderson has since released a statement reading in part, Gia was the most beautiful person I knew inside and out, and she always smiled and made everyone else around her smile. She had such an amazing impact on my life, and anyone that knew her was blessed. A distraught Jake Pavelka, who romanced Alamond on The Bachelor, tweeted, I had to pull over. I can't stop crying. We have lost an angel. Bachelor host Chris Harrison added, it's with heavy hearts that we say goodbye to our good friend Gia Alamond. The reality show star remained close with her Bachelor castmates over the years, including Jesse Salidas. So sad. This is, she's 29 years old. She had so much more life ahead of her. I wish that she had, you know, told somebody, told one of us, because we would have been there for her. She was gone way too soon. All right, shifting gears now to the silver screen with the UK premiere of We're the Millers. The stars of the film put on a show for British fans, but not quite like they did in the film. Fresh-faced Jennifer Aniston wowed in a floral Dior dress at the London premiere of We're the Millers. The 44-year-old tread new waters in her latest role as a stripper. It was daunting, but we got through it. After like an hour of being there, it was fine. Aniston didn't give castmates a show. Instead, reaction shots required a bit of imagination. I'm just watching two tennis balls. I apologize for peeling back the curtain like that and explaining how the sausage is made, but you know, that's, that's what happened. Order for notification. He's been out three months. You knew about this? Look, his behavior is totally clean. So they let him off. And just released is the trailer for one of Corey Monteith's last films, Mechanic. The late actor who died of an overdose plays a struggling drug addict, and it was a role that helped him face his own demons. I'm looking for Simon. You know where he's What do you staying. want with him? He paid his debt. Isn't that enough? Mechanic will premiere at TIFF next month. So what do you think of Mechanic? Now that you got your first look at the film, maybe check it out at TIFF. Tweet us your thoughts at End City. Everybody get up. It's the song of the summer. And now, Entertainment City is getting past those blurred lines. City's Dina Pugliese and Kiss 92.5's Adam Wilde get up close and personal with Robin Thicke. I know she wants it, baby. Join us as the man ruling the charts opens up about his number one album, Blurred Lines. This is icing on an already delicious cake. An exclusive Entertainment City special. Everybody. 